Do you have a service animal? Or are you thinking about getting one? Know your rights. You have a right to call your animal a service animal if it's properly trained. In Washington State, any animal that is specifically trained to help a person with a disability is a service animal. These are usually dogs, but they can be any animals so long as they're trained. As a service animal owner, you have a right to bring your animal just about everywhere. That means you have a right to bring your animal into government buildings and places of public accommodation, like stores, restaurants, theaters, and hotels. You also have the right to ask your boss or your landlord for a reasonable accommodation to use your animal at work or in your home. Any no pet policies do not apply to service animals. Your service animal has to behave. Your service animal needs to be under control either on a leash or by voice control. No uncontrolled barking, jumping on customers, growling, or posing a threat to the health or safety of others. If that happens, the business can ask you to take your animal outside, but only the animal. Your right to stay there stays the same. In a place of public accommodation, you can only be asked two questions about your service animal. Is your animal required because of a disability? And what task or service has this animal been trained to do? You cannot be asked, what is your disability? That is confidential and you do not have to answer. Do you have documentation or proof that the animal is licensed as a service animal? You are not required to have documentation or proof. Also, you don't need to have any special signage, such as vests or tags for your service animal. Many websites and companies sell these kinds of items, and you can choose to use them, but remember that putting on a vest does not make it a service animal. Only the specialized training does. If your animal is not trained, then it's not a service animal, but it might be a companion animal. Companion animals, also known as emotional support animals, comfort animals, or therapy animals, provide support simply by being a companion. They can alleviate symptoms of a mental or psychiatric disability. Companion animals are typically dogs and cats, but may include other animals like lizards, snakes, and small rodents. If you use a companion animal, you have the right to ask your boss or your landlord for a reasonable accommodation to use your animal at work or in your home. However, you do not have the right to bring your companion animal into government buildings or places of public accommodation. You should check individually with these businesses to see if they allow your animal. Because several local, state, and federal laws address the rights of animal owners, there are specific cases where these rules might be different. Rules for service and companion animals might be more restrictive in certain situations. For example, when an animal is misbehaving or is exhibiting threatening behavior. Rules may also be more restrictive in specific places like stores that sell food and in hospitals. Check out the resources listed at the end of this video for more information on owning a service or companion animal, getting a service animal trained, what to do if you believe you have been discriminated against because of your animal. Remember, service and companion animals are not pets. People with disabilities have a right to use them almost everywhere they go. More resources available at the Northwest ADA Center, nwadacenter.org slash toolkit slash service dash animals. The Washington State Department of Veterans Affairs, dva.wa.gov slash program slash service dash dogs, Disability Rights Washington, disabilityrightswa.org slash service dash animals, and the Washington State Human Rights Commission, hum.wa.gov slash faq slash faq service animal dot html. Special thanks to the Northwest ADA Center, Olympic Cards and Comics, McDonald's of Sammamish, Safeway of Sammamish, and Paws Abilities. This video was made possible through a partnership with the Washington Department of Veterans Affairs, the Washington Traumatic Brain Injury Strategic Partnership Advisory Council, and Disability Rights Washington. Produced by Rooted in Rights, a project of Disability Rights Washington.